Okay, so um, I'll try not to go too much into the coffee break uh, <laughs> because I also need one. Um, first of all, apologize. I want to apologize for my very casual appearance. <laughs> Unfortunately, my uh, luggage took a short detour, <laughs> so uh, I could use some high precision uh, positioning for the uh, luggage, maybe. <laughs> um, so I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's wa it was a direct flight from Munich here, so... Oh, they managed to... Yeah, even, even that. <laughs> but a uh, different story, maybe for the coffee break. <laughs> so, uh, Timon, another um, European project. Um, we were gladly <coughs> invited um, to participate here as well. Um, Timon is about enhi enhanced real-time services for an optimized multimodal mobility relying on cooperative networks and open data. So basically, we're trying to do everything. Um, <laughs> that could be the summary. Uh, I will skip the Horizon 2020 program because I think everybody is mostly familiar with that. Um, a few facts and figures about Simon. We are 11 partners um, coordinated by the Usto University in Spain. We also have, I think, almost the same budget, around 5.6 million, um, and also the same runtime, I think. So we're basically at the same phase of the project right now as uh, with the previous mentioned Heights project. Like I said, we try to do everything. So we have an open web-based platform uh, that should, in theory, provide real-time services to drivers, vulnerable road users, commuters, whatever you can think of. Um, the main, the important thing here, is, uh, thing here is cooperative communication. So we try to bring together the worlds that were maybe mentioned by Heights that are currently a bit apart. Saying so you have the cellular world, you have the um, local communication world, um, you have the internet world, if I may say so. Um, but we want to try to bridge um, between these worlds. Maybe that is um, the best description. So um, as you can see here, we have a couple of services for, uh, for drivers, um, the most famous road hazard warning, uh, emergency vehicle approaching, dynamic route replanning, um, so a little more in the traffic efficiency uh, domain. But we also have um, distinct services for vulnerable road users, meaning also maybe route replanning for cyclists, um, vehicle density awareness, which is a bit um, related to the route replanning, and obviously collision alert. So I mean, we still see uh, most of the incidents that we see on roads are with uh, vulnerable road users because they happen to be less protected than drivers. And uh, therefore, um, it would be a good idea to maybe alert the drivers as well as the vulnerable road users um, about potential uh, problems. And then we have under, underneath everything the Timon collaborative system and uh, we also intend to provide services to businesses. So in, in principle, I think, at least from my feeling from the presentation of the Heights project, we are a little closer to deployment issues, um, also to, um, let's say, um, finding a business model for all these uh, different things to really sell this stuff to people. We have, um, on one side, we deal with a lot of data sources. So we try to get the data from whatever is available, open data, infrastructure sens sensors, and also obviously vehicles as sensors, but not on the, let's say, sensor level. Um, but basically we could take the output of the Heights project and just feed it into um, our uh, system. We have three technological pillars, uh, which are um, hybrid networks. So uh, we, had, we saw in this picture um, right now that cellular and V2X are still a bit um, different, um, but I will go into detail uh, on that uh, in my last presentation today, um, most probably. Um, we have um, one f field of investigation related to artifici artificial intelligence, uh, meaning what if we have all this data, what can we derive from it? And we also have um, uh, one work package for cooperative positioning. Unfortunately, I'm not an expert on this field, so I can't tell you much about this, but I can um, relate you to um, the people involved with that, so uh, I don't want to embarrass myself in, uh, by saying something stupid about this here. So, and this will all be integrated into uh, basically one platform. We intend to deliver the services um, to users either through onboard units um, in cars and motorcycles, but also through cellular basic smartphone applications. So, um, and this is all basically 
brought together by the um, so-called Timon cloud, whatever that might be. So specific objectives, I touched them briefly already. So we try to harmonize, first of all, uh, like in the picture we saw on the left side, the different data sources that are already available and leverage from that as much as possible. Um, here also the artificial intelligence comes into play. Um, for example, for congestion prediction and optimized routing. So routing in the term of traffic routing, not uh, network routing. Um, we have, as I mentioned, um, cooperative positioning techniques. Um, so because, especially with the vulnerable road users, we see that, um, and we've heard that before, that the positioning uh, that we currently have is by far not sufficient. So um, there's uh, a lot to do in that field. And we also have um, here the hybrid communication system. Later on, I will talk about heterogeneous communication system because hybrid, I think, too, is still not enough. Um, about bringing these communication worlds together to uh, um, maybe provide a better overall service. One major pillar of the uh, Timon project is that we will do uh, extensive field testing. So we are uh, working together with uh, uh, TAS, which is one of the partners, I think, in both projects. Um, we intend to do a first uh, test of the subsystems and also the overall uh, Timon system on the TAS facilities in Helmond with a few vehicles, uh, I think one motorcycle and a couple of cyclists. Um, but we also intend to do a larger real-world test in Ljubljana, Slovenia, um, with infrastructure sensors, with um, real citizens. So we will equip real cars for citizens. citizens. They will drive around for a couple of months, um, collect data, and also um, basically how they like the service. Um, also including bike riders, regular commuters, whatever you can think of. So we have a very close cooperation with the city of Ljubljana and also um, the uh, traffic authorities there. This is just the basic structure. I don't think this is uh, too interesting. And maybe I'll um, leave you for the coffee break uh, with this nice overview. So we have a lot of partners from different countries in, the in Europe. And um, if you have any specific questions, please ask me or um, contact any one of those. Thank you. Thank you.